My name is Caroline Angel. I'm the author of All the Time in the World. It was my intention when I, when I wrote the book that people would have an experience with characters who end up dealing with each other in a loving way. I've read a lot by other writers that sort of end up being these like dark exposés on like the sides of human nature that are twisted and where people don't treat each other very well. And there are some awesome stories by some awesome writers that, that are that, that darkness. And I just am not, that's not me as a writer. I wanted to write something that was more along the lines of like a love expose. Something that was uh, about people who yes, experienced emotions and yes, went through tragedy and yes, had to deal with messy things, but also dealt with each other in a way that uh, helped, them, helped them bond together as humans and move forward in a, in a more abundant way. I, I think I find a lot of inspiration in children just in general because I spend a whole lot of time with them and they're really present emotional beings. So when I was imagining the characters of Matt and George, it, it wasn't too much of a stretch. I didn't need to do much research to imagine how a little kid in that very present emotional state might respond to circumstances that were passed along their way. I went really recently with the kids that I babysit to see The Lion King on Broadway. And they were so cute, they loved it. It was so exciting to them. But there are scary parts in The Lion King. There's the part where the dad lion falls off the cliff is what I was really thinking of that, that he might have a little bit of an issue with. And sure, sure enough, the four-year-old kind of looks at me like stricken, like I can't believe that that could be it. The dad lion fell off the cliff, like he's, are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> and um, he didn't say a lot about it, but then in the following weeks, I would get these little tidbits from him. They were, he was trying to work it out in his brain. And, and a couple weeks later, he looks at me while he's taking off his jacket from school or something. And he says, Caroline, you know, my dad's going to pass away someday. Like he had connected the dots from like Simba's experience to his experience. And he maybe had been talking about it to his parents or processing it in his brain. But for whatever reason, it came up at a time. And I think that goes back to the presence factor with kids is that they have these short bursts of emotions that are connected to whatever they're specifically feeling at the time. And so with a lot of, you know, the dramatic and the heartbreaking circumstances of the book, uh, all I had to do was really imagine how a little kid might experience that and then kind of move on to the next thing, whether it was, you know, being in kindergarten and having to interact with another kid or whether it was like hating what they were having for dinner, you know, or remembering their mother and, and missing her. You know, there's a whole wealth of ways you can get from one to the other.